and if you have Hold tried on. the other techniques. Hold on. Well, responsible first. torture is an oxymoron. I'm All right, sorry. We keep cutting it's not Eugene torture. Off, it's it's not torture. Torture, Go ahead, Eugene. torture is illegal. <laughs> You're right, Eugene. I agree with you. Torture is illegal. It, well, it, well, and we did it. We, we did it. It wasn't and, torture, and, Eugene. And, and it doesn't matter if it's illegal and if waterboarding is torture. I believe we it is. Didn't you, do, you believe it we, isn't. We didn't but do torture. If, if it is illegal, if it is illegal, if I am right and you are wrong, then it doesn't matter that I can get a lawyer to write an opinion saying it's legal. It doesn't, yeah, if, it's, Eugene, if it that, is in fact argument, illegal, that no, doesn't matter. Sorry, Eugene, I, but the way any, that the any, government any, works any is government that Any government that lawyers, wanted to torture anybody can, can always get a lawyer to write an opinion saying it's okay. okay go Liz, ahead and do it. Yeah, Liz but respond. that isn't what happened here, Eugene. And I think you need to go through and read the legal memos very carefully well, because these lawyers were incredibly responsible about saying this crosses the line, this doesn't cross the line. And well, I think that it, it's unfair to them to say that they somehow, you know, were condoning illegal activity. That's not what went well, on I here. Think, and but, I think every Liz, American you know, I think it's unfair, memos. for example, to compare, you know, waterboarding of, of U.S. troops as a training exercise in which they're not going to be killed. They're not going to be drowned. They know that. Of course, it's uncomfortable. It's unpleasant. But that's not the way they waterboarded Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. That's not the way they waterboarded Abu so, Zubaydah. They just, didn't do it 180 years. Question times. Then. But, okay, wait a second. Let me ask you a question, Eugene. So, if you knew that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed had information about an imminent threat on the United States, information that would result in the death of your family members, the death of people that you care about and love, and that if he were waterboarded, you would be able to get that information and prevent the attack, you wouldn't do it? You would let him well, go ahead and launch that? the attack? How would, how would I know Eugene, that? Eugene, that's if exactly I, if I... the situation these folks were in. Well, but that's the uh, choice you got to make. <laughs> no, you don't have to make that choice. You don't have to choose to to behave in an illegal manner. You don't have to do that. Well, um, you know, I, you and I, I will disagree really, about I really whether it's legal or illegal. I mean, forget the niceties of legal or illegal. If he's the only one you have in your hands, and there's something seriously wrong with your intelligence exactly. capabilities, exactly. That's exactly if, right. If, if he's the only, if you only have one guy who can give you that you information, know what, Mike, that's a really important point. Yeah, because that's I would think where so. we were on September well, 12th. We didn't know anything about Al Qaeda. Well, I shouldn't say anything. We didn't know very much about Al Qaeda. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know what I think a lot of people would like to see? Your father in the White House, sitting with the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and telling him all this stuff, his fears, his apprehension about what this administration is doing. Well, I, uh, I'm sure my father would welcome that opportunity. Yeah, but forget it's about who's going to make the first me, phone no, call. No, 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 but it's, hey, not clear to me, it's not clear to me that, that you know, President Obama um, you know, really cares what he thinks at this point. I mean, I think President Obama came into office and, you know, during the, the um, inauguration, he said, look, I'm going to wait. He said, I thought Dick Cheney's advice was good advice. I'm going to wait and see what I learn about the program. I'm going to wait to make decisions until I understand the whole context. Second day he's in office, he ends the program. And then a few weeks later, he releases the techniques themselves. So even though his own, he's got his own committee that's studying whether the Army Field Manual techniques are sufficient to protect the nation, his own committee, and they haven't reported back to him yet, and he's released the other techniques to the public. So now those are no Liz, longer Liz, useful. Liz, let me ask. Let me ask one yeah. one question, Liz. If if uh, if the president, if President Obama is making us less safe by ending these techniques, then where are the other officials from the administration? Where yeah. is former President Bush? Where is former Secretary of State Rice? Uh, where are the other principals uh, who were involved, who presumably have access to the same information? that your father has access to and why are they not out there speaking as well it's a good question Eugene I mean I think look I'm not going to presume to sort of question anybody's motives here but I'm sure people are getting advice from their lawyers I mean we've got an administration currently in place that's suggesting criminal prosecutions the president himself in the Oval Office left open that possibility so I'm confident that people's it, it, lawyers are telling them don't talk about this you know it, it's you know going to become a mess um, so, you know, I, I can't speak for them, and I don't want to, you know, assess what their motives are in speaking out or not speaking out, but I, I do know... I, I, I can't either, but is, is it not possible that they might have a somewhat different view? Well, uh, you know, in look, retrospect, these are they programs... Might believe uh, that, that perhaps some of this wasn't that necessary or wasn't that effective well, or, but or, Eugene, or, if, or if, wasn't all that, that your father says it was. Well, but G Eugene, if your only refuge now is to say people who are being silent might be making your case, then, you know, I think we've reached sort of, well, you know, the end I'm point of the argument. Well, we're going to leave the argument here. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Yeah.
Your father's got to be proud of you. Yes, thank I would you. say so. And um, Eugene, thank you so much. We'll be reading uh, more of your column in this morning's Washington Post. Liz Cheney, great to be here. Something thank we have guys. in common, you know, I just discovered. Yeah. We both have crashed our parents' cars <laughs> on or near Georgetown Pike and McLean. We can agree on that for sure. <laughs> thank you. And probably a lot more. Thank Andrew you. Ross Oregon, thanks very much for sticking thank around. You. Coming up, Andrea Mitchell.